Hi Farouk, I have a problem that I need to be solved regarding the structure analysis. So my problem is about the spotlight pillars, which I have to find the deformation of the spotlight pillars uh, that is deformed due to the exit loading exited by the weight of the spotlight lamp. So do you know any method that I can use to solve this problem? Yes, Shafiq. I think for this kind of problems, we need to use the FEM finite element theory in order to solve this kind of problems. In your opinion, what does FEM theory refer to? Based on what I know, FEM is a numerical method that can solve a complex structure and do the structure analysis. And it is widely used by the scientists and engineers in solving the analysis for their problems. Yes, I agree with your statement. And also what I know that this FEM is a method that provides accurate analysis or we can say that it provides to us the approximate solution and it is the best tools in the structure analysis. So Farouk, what kind of does what kind of input does the FEM need? Okay Shafiq. So basically the input that needed in this FEM consists of four parameters where the first one will be the loading itself. So in this case for the spotlight pillars, the lamp will act as a loading to this kind of problem. Okay so Shafiq, so what do you think about the second input? Do you have any idea? The second should be the boundary condition. Well for these cases we can say that the boundary condition is setting at the base of at the base of the this spotlight pillars. So far, what do you think what the others two input? Okay, for the third input will be the material. So what kind of material being used in these spotlight pillars is either uh, steels, concrete or etc. And the last one will be the geometry itself. What type of geometry this spotlight pillar have? Is it a solid cylinder or hollow cylinder? The different in type of geometry will give the different answer and different uh, analysis. So, uh, Shafi, do you know any formula that can uh, be related in this for in this finite element method? Yes, it will be K U equal to F, where K is the stiffness metric, U is a deformation, and F is a loading. So, K is basically in K we have the material, the geometry, which is the which is the area and also the length of the of the pillar. Is that true? Yes, it's true, Shafiq. So basically, this formula is commonly used in solving the finite element method. And also, as far as I know, uh, there are a few software that can be used in solving this uh, finite element method, right? Do you have uh, any idea what type of software do we use? Yes, of course. There are two types of software, which are free software and also the commercial software. So the, for the free software, we can use the Microsoft and so we need to solve the problem. So for the commercial software, as far as I know and I have used, uh, there are a few, a few of them which are ANSYS, Comso, Pasran and Nasran and the others. Yes, that's right Shafiq. So by using all the software, so we need to apply all the input parameter that we have been mentioned before in order to do the analysis, right? Yes, Faro. Now I understand that by knowing the, all the four parameters needed, I can find how much will the spotlight be uh, deformed. I'm sorry Faro, unfortunately I have to go now. So thank you for your precious time for discussing this problem with me. Okay Shafiq, no problem.